again, Jason here, out here in the woods with the legend, stock coil today. I wanted to go to a field, but I'll tell you, it's way too windy. I felt like a mime doing that walking against the wind stuff. But we're out here in the woods, hopefully we'll find, well, we will find something, probably bologna sandwich wrappers and a whole ton of shotgun shells and bullets. But uh, hopefully we'll have something better to show. All right, here we go. Okay, remnants of an old pocket knife. Deep. Well, I remember losing my pocket knife when I was a little kid. I was bummed. Well, I'll take it. At least I know I'm in an area that was old. All right, keep going. All right, all right. Rang up as a 24 on the legend, and uh, I see a little curvature there. So let's see if we can get this revealed. I'm thinking it's a nickel, but what kind? Yeah, it's a regular nickel. There's a little house. All right, I'll keep going. All right, I found a necklace. <laughs> and I'm sure it's a necklace that you have not found before. This is unreal. I I'm not gonna forget this one. My, my, look at the craftsmanship. <laughs> oh man, look at this. He started here, he ended here, and forgot he made the thing. <laughs> oh god. Look at that. I don't know if I should keep it or throw it away. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Must have been a long conversation. All right, I'll get back to it. Look at that one. I don't know if that's a steering wheel or a propeller or a gear. Or... Yeah, small. Yeah. All right, I'll keep going. What I do like about that is uh, that thing is tiny just around the size of a three cent piece. Come on. All right, all right, here we go. Seriously, I said to myself, one more target, I gotta go, it's getting cold. So, here's the curve. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's a regular, what do you think? Maybe? Maybe? Yes! Yes, it is. It's a weed scent. Okay. Check the tape later. It's too cold. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Focus. I'll take it. All right. Well, you know what? I think that's going to be it. Take care, everyone. Hey. All right. I moved out of the woods right next door. Let's see, here's the curvature. <laughs> it's small. Let's see. Oh, I can already feel it, it's a butt. No, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, just a little, is that a tom bat? I can't tell. All right, so uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Look at that. The rate I'm going with these things, I can go out with the intention to find them, and I will. Alright, well, I don't mind. Like I said before, these are cool to find because, uh, you know, you know people are out here. It's an interesting little design. Alright, this might be the last one, but who knows, maybe I'll be back. Hey, hello, look at this one. Rang up as a nickel. Well, nickel range. Something men. I can't really see it so good. I don't want to waste too much time out here cleaning stuff. I can do it when I get home. But I'm over here in Massachusetts. I don't know if that has something to do with the state. But any ideas? Let me know in the comments. All right. Keep going. All right. Here's the curvature. 
<laughs> All right, this came up uh, nickel range, slightly above though. I know it's coin. Hmm. I bet it's a buffalo, as I am. It's. Uh, I don't know. I just got. Let me see. No, just a regular. Oh well. All right, keep going. Hey, hey. All right. Other than the half a dozen previous shotgun shells I've just dug, here is my first, what I see as curvature. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a reveal. I love that I can do this. Oh yeah, it's a big greeny. What do we got, what do we got? King George, what is it? I think, hold on, here. here's some of the enhancement fluid. Oh God, my eyes. That's a King George. Yep, it's a King George. Ooh. All right, all right. 46, on the ID, on the legend. Loving that 10 kilohertz. All right, let's get back to it. Here we go, here we go. I see silver, just came out of the hole. Oh, that is one nice curve. See it? Okay, let's hope it's a good one. My luck, it's just a, oh no. Well, it might be a silver quarter and it's 62. I'll take it. All right. Oh man, I thought that was a real. <laughs> they should be around here, hopefully. All right, we'll be back. Hey, well, I saw this one, so there's, I couldn't do the live reveal. <laughs> Figures, it came right out. I knew it was a coin. I rubbed the figure and it was a zinc. Oh, well, look at that. Nice Indian head. Hey, what's that date? Uh, I don't know. I'll put that in the top pocket and I'll look at it later. All right. Hey, hey, another button. I'll take it. Well, well shank's broken, but it's a little stub there. Yeah, so uh, always a good sign. Everyone knows that. It's an oldie. Nice patina. All right, we'll keep on going. <laughs> I see a curve. Ooh. All right. What do we got? Oh. Oh boy. Oh well. A quarter. All right, well, we'll keep going. Well, that looks like an oldie. It's a uh, little pendant. Pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, yeah, this is probably 1800s. Nice. Oh, what did I cut down there. Well, maybe earlier. Not sure. It's cool to find. Anyone has an idea? Actually, maybe later. If anyone has an idea, let me know in the comments. All right. Hey, hey, Jason here, and I am out doing some night hunting. Well, I got about an hour and the eclipse hits. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, I got the double score. We'll see what we can get. See you in a few. All right, first dig. April 8th, 2024, the eclipse. A little while, it's gonna be getting dark, but nice buckle I pulled up. That's my first target. Using uh, 15 kilohertz on the uh, double score. Recovery speed all the way up, and it was deep. There's a lot of iron around here. All right, maybe the next time, <laughs> maybe the next target I dig, it'll be pitch black. We'll see, I'll be back. Well, first off, I was way off base on how dark it would get here. I guess I should take the headlamp off my head. 
Anyways, um, yeah, look at this. Nice little buckle. Fortunately, it's broken. And I looked to the other part, it's not in there. Oh well, at least I know I'm in the right area. Second buckle. I've dug a, a lot of uh, 22 shells in between, but we will keep on going. I'll tell you, it's incredible. I don't even know how many pocket knives I found that are gonna be in this video. I, I think I found a few of them. I'm gonna open up a pocket knife from Porium. Wow, I like finding these though. Maybe that's why I keep on finding them. All right, keep going. Wow, a lot of buckles and clasps, clasps today. Oh, <laughs> little garter clasp. All right, this might be the end of it. I am hungry. So if I'm back, I'm back. If not, fade out. Would you look at that? A silent dog whistle. Or maybe it belonged to a falcon ear. <laughs> I, I remember getting one of these when I was just a little kid, blowing it in the neighborhood to see if it worked. <laughs> I wouldn't dare blow this around my dog right now. Huh. I think that's actually the first one I found. Crazy. Nice. Maybe one of those bucket lists I never knew that maybe should be on there. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going. All right. Open the plug and saw it to the side. Ew. I have no idea what it is yet, but I see a little uh, ornate design. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there's a little design there. So, let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh. Oh, I use, oh, it's a, um, a bag seal, you know, that's all right. Oh, what does it say? Uh, what? Yeah, I'm sure, <laughs> for all I know, it's some pull tab, someone's watching this going, no, no, that's, that's a, uh, it's a fine wine. That's a topper for a tough one. I, I don't know. Actually, it is looking pull tabish now. Oh, boy. I wouldn't have wasted my time recording that. Okay, keep going. Look at this. This is a nice little cool piece of silver. It's got to be silver. It's thick. And it came out nice and shiny. Looks like Torian. Well, uh, oh. Got poison ivy big time. That's why my hands look like, uh, <laughs> a mess. All right. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. There we go. And yeah, okay. Get back to it. I clean my hands up. Boy, oh boy, something wicked this way comes. <laughs> There's a uh, little earring. Came up as a 36. And uh, yeah. All right. We'll keep on going. Oh, there's an old vintage lipstick tube. Thought it was a bullet at first. But, nope. It's a tube. It's a cap, but I'm not gonna bother taking it apart out here. Mm, should I? No, I gotta soak it first. But I know I'm in the right spot. I'm hoping I'm in the right spot finding little buckles and all this stuff. Let's go coins. All right, we'll be back. Oh, that was deep and muddy. Oh, another buckle. Got this with the, uh, he's in the legend right now, M1. It's the LG20. Anyways, so that was a 35. All right. Hey, this is a little fancy pants looking button. Nice, uh, well, it's, I don't know, it's not really a button. It might be a cufflink, I believe. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what that is. So I'm uh, switching it up today. I'm using the Legend with the LG24 
in a near big field concentrated areas of uh, I'm not gonna say just iron junk so I'm using pitch tones today uh, and running an M2 sensitivity 26 and uh, it's doing really good oh I got the recovery speed actually set up to seven I want to get zip zip you know and uh, yeah so this is my first target with this so uh, yeah I'm gonna keep going see you soon no there's an oldie half a button Ooh, I hear a great horn dial um, yeah just look at half the, I think it was a tombat but a little uh it's old. All right, keep on going. <laughs> what do you know? After all the junk horseshoes, look what I find. <laughs> I don't even bother filming the horseshoes. Nice, 14K. Small. Oh yeah. See the little 14K there. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, I guess I'll keep going. Focus. <laughs> hey, it's not often you find the mechanism of an item being lost. Looks like there's a little backing clip for the horseshoe. It literally was inches away. Oh, no. Okay, I'll keep going. Man, I've been finding so many buttons. It's great. You know why? Because it means there might be coins, old ones. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's some powerful deduction there. Anyways... I'll keep on, oh, what is that little, no, I thought it was a little design. Okay, I'll keep on going. Oh, I'll get that in a moment. I just got this. I couldn't do the live reveal because I got it out of the hole and saw it sitting on the side. Cleaned it up a little bit. That's an 1887 Indian head. Okay, let's see. Yeah, well, I'll keep on going. It's encouraging. Oh, that's an oldie. But it's broke. So much for that buckle. Nice colonial. This is where we want to be. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, boy. That horseshoe I found was indicative. Nice. Oh, I was like, is that a little, uh, like a garter? No. What's the name of that? Shoot. Let me know in the comments if you know. But yeah, this is great. That was shallow. <laughs> okay. I might keep going. I'm not sure. I got to get out of here soon. So if it just ends abruptly, then it does. All right. I'll get back to it for a little bit. Uh -huh.